back at the workshop, the 50-year-old Beetle has been subjected to a thorough upgrade program by Guy and the team. Wider tires, bigger wings. Normally, it takes years to perfect a record breaker, but with a limited budget, the team are restricted to fitting in work between other Thank jobs. You. You're still working on the lorries, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's not a stop, really, that. But with an EV, the biggest hot rod gains can be made in just a few minutes. Today, it's, it's all about power. It's all about power. We've come to find it. When James Watt first converted a torque measurement into the concept of horsepower as a way of marketing his new steam engines, he had little idea that it would still be the benchmark used by every petrol head 250 years later. Horsepower and torque, what's the difference? You could soon make it sound dead complicated, but I sort of just use the simple terms, right? I just use the simple terms. The um, torque is how hard I'm pushing you, like I'm pushing the, the sound dog, how hard I'm shoving you. And the horsepower is how fast I'm doing it. Minute. It's expensive. He said he's a, <laughs> it's a thousand quid's worth of microphone. Can you see that? Just how fast those torque events are happening. In terms of the Beetle, torque is the force that will launch it off the line, and power is what will carry it to the finish. The team want as much of both as possible, and have come to the rolling road of experienced supercar tuner Ricky Elder for help. Chris Hazel has also been brought in to modify the motor. By attaching a Wi-Fi router close to the Tesla internals, it's more akin to computer hacking than traditional engine tuning. All right, we're in. I'm just listening and learning. Right, let's see if we can hook some power then. Ready? Yeah, we're good. Watch your fingers. The Beetle's throttle is flawed. It spins its wheels at the equivalent of 120 miles per hour, while a live readout shows the forces being generated. Thousand RPM motor speed, you are doing 647 newton meters of torque, which for something that ain't powered by rotten dinosaurs, <laughs> that ain't that is impressive. That ain't bad, mate. That yeah. ain't bad. So that little thing is nearly making the same torque as a hundred thousand pound Porsche. <laughs> but you run out of revs. Give me more revs, I'll give you more power. Okay. The tuning can commence. Let me just refresh this and see if it's going to play ball. <laughs> they start by telling the motor to use more electrical energy by increasing the amp limit. But it comes with a warning. I don't want to put it up at all, to be honest. But as I know, I know we can push it up. We've just never pushed it past 1,100. Well, you've never done that before, so you don't know uh, if that would damage the inverter. <laughs> We we'll just push it and see what happens at the end of the day. Forward factor. They also adjust a parameter called F slip, which controls the three magnetic fields that make the motor spin. It's the point in which you energize the magnets, right? So if you've got two magnets on your table and they're attracting, right? You want them in that sweet spot. So if you get them too close, they're just gonna snap together. You don't want that. You want them near enough apart, so you've got the maximum pull, but you don't want them touching. So that's what the adjusting the F-slip is, just getting that distance right. The, the attracting magnets is just getting them close enough, so they're just about pulling, but not touching. That's when you get your maximum power in that window. And what I can do here... So is the closer we are together, it'll pull them out around faster. You see, you see, you just get to that point and it pulls them out around faster. So, yeah, this, this is a sweet spot, this is a sweet spot. So, what was it sagging down to? There is an undeniable tension in the room as they prepare for the run. Nobody knows if the new settings could make the Beatles self-destruct. Right, you ready? Yep. Completed safely, and the result speaks for itself. It's picking the wheels on the dyno. 
And we ended up at like 670 newton meters of torque, which is, yeah, that's as much, if not more, than anyone has ever got out of those Tesla kits. Now she wants to pull the dynamite floor. Literally goes, <laughs> Some introduction to electric cars, yeah, eh? Yeah. Uh, He's probably pulled the back of the cell closer to the car. <laughs> no, we're still good. What was once a classic family car has been turned into a tire shredding monster. The power of EVs is undoubted, but what continues to plague them is something Guy is going to test to the extreme.